Every September, thousands of students flock to their nearest Walmart, Staples, and Best Buy to get in on the best deals for their back to school shopping. And every year, many of these students tackle the conundrum of choosing what to buy, especially in this new age of technology being intricately involved in learning, I find myself facing a serious problem, making the perfect purchase. My computer is outdated and I need an upgrade. It is very slow has a broken fan that causes it to overheat whenever I use multiple programs and is extremely inefficient at doing high performance tasks like video and photo editing. Purchasing a new computer is a large financial investment and this next investment will likely last me the next four years, making it an extremely important decision. I originally planned on getting this year's new MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro has always been known as a very high quality product with a lot of longevity. The latest MacBook Pro also has the M1 chip, which is the fastest out of all the current mainstream laptops available. Alongside this, it also has the benefit of being an Apple product which would work very well with my other Apple products. It is, however, quite expensive and one of the more premium laptops on the market. However, my indecisiveness forced me to do more research before coming to a conclusion, leaving me with two other viable alternatives. My first alternative is to buy a desktop PC. By buying a desktop PC, I will have access to more storage, RAM, and graphics with better overall performance in every category, making it ideal for gaming as well as working. Desktops can also be customized over time to keep up with improving technologies in ways that laptops cannot. Desktops do, however, require many additional accessories. A laptop has a mouse, keyboard, and screen built into it. However, with a desktop, I will have to purchase all of these accessories separately. A desktop is also immobile, and I will need to keep using my old laptop whenever I need to work on the go. My second alternative is to buy an iPad Pro. One of the things I hate the most about having a lot of classes is having to carry around different notebooks for each of my different classes. With the new Apple iPad Pro and 
its companion accessory, the Apple Pencil, I will be able to have all my handwritten notes easily accessible in one place. Aside from that, the iPad Pro still has a large screen and with the right accessories can do most of the things that a laptop can while keeping all the benefits of being a tablet. The MacBook Pro costs less than the Cyber Power PC. However, the PC is much more powerful with twice the memory, twice the storage, and a better graphics card. The PC does require additional accessories like a mouse, keyboard, and monitor, which is why its price is much higher. And it is a stationary device, making it unusable outside of my home. The PC is also a Windows product, losing out on the convenience and seamless interactions that my other Apple products would have with a Mac. The MacBook Pro costs less than the iPad Pro with all its accessories included. Both of these devices can be configured to have similar specifications and both have the convenience of being an Apple product. However, the iPad Pro has a high quality 12 megapixel camera. It has a touchscreen that is compatible with the Apple Pencil, allowing me to take handwritten notes on it and it has all the benefits of being a tablet, making it much more portable and easy to use in any environment for a variety of purposes. Both of these alternatives have their pros and cons when being compared to the MacBook Pro. The desktop has much better performance capabilities, making it excellent for gaming and editing. However, it requires many accessories to be usable and would require even more expensive accessories to make use of its full potential. The iPad Pro has similar performance capabilities and comes with many benefits that it enjoys, like portability, handwritten notes, and ease of use. After looking at the pros and cons of these choices, and evaluating which of these are most important for me, the iPad Pro is my final choice. I don't think I'll find myself doing much video editing or high level gaming, making the benefits of the desktop less valuable. I will, however, have many classes and will be taking lots of notes. The convenience of having all my notes in one portable tablet that can also be used like a laptop 
and be used as an entertainment device when I need it to be is much more important for me. Although it is the most expensive option, I think that its benefits greatly outweigh the costs and that it is the most suitable to my needs, making it the perfect purchase for me.